Hi, this is Dr. Mike Yuan. Welcome to my December 9th, 2021 update. Hey, before you do anything, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already in order to make sure you don't miss out on future information I'll be sharing. Yang Lu Chan versus Dong Hai Chen. Why couldn't Yang Lu Chan defeat Dong Hai Chen? I'll be using this presentation to address a very well known yet cloaked in mystery legend. That is the bout between the founders and lineage holders of the two great traditions that continue to be revered today throughout the world in Taiji Chen and Bagua Chen. Yang Lu Chan and Dong Hai Chen were born within a couple years of each other around 1800 at a very pivotal time in Chinese history when the reign of Qianlong the Great was just ending in terms of evolution of thought. It spoke of a very fertile period where breakthrough innovations were taking place and there was a sense that I could put my name or signature behind it. Hence, Yang Lu Chan's Yang style Taiji Chen innovated from the Chen style Taiji Chen. But as Yang Shou Zhong claimed, the originator was Zhang Sang Feng. The history of Bagua Chen is shrouded in even more mystery, the founder not being known. I'm also going to use this presentation to highlight a very little known differentiation between the two styles. And in our advanced Yang Taiji corrections training, we're going to make full use of this information and these tools. Through the episodes, I've tried to establish the importance of Fan Tan Li, repelling power, and how uniquely exclusive it was to this tradition of the Yangs. Many systems develop Fan Tan Li, but there's something very special about what Yang Lu Chan innovated in terms of method and how it came out in the expression of extraordinary awareness and capability. As the story goes, Yang Lu Chan and Dong Hai Chen, both in their prime, probably 40s or 50s, meeting in the Imperial Palace at a friendly bout to test their skills against one another. The conclusion says the legends, Ping Shou, even hands. One was not able to defeat the other. In fact, if it is true, what I've heard, that they both injured their hands, it would be a quintessential expression of the ability of both, using their different methods, to marshal the totality of their force through their bodies out into their hands, like high voltage electric wire. So why was it that peerless Yang, Yang Wudi, Yang who had no peers, actually had a peer in Donghai Chen? And based on my Bagua Chen background, where I learned from Gong Bao Jai, who was fourth generation pure line disciple from Donghai Chen Yin Fu, Gong Bao Tian, who was the only one raised in the palace by Yin Fu as a boy and eventually took over his position and was the last bodyguard to the Empress Dowager, possessed the Qing Gong, the light skill, and had fingers and toes that fell like railroad spikes, noted Gong Bao Jai. This Ba Gua Chen did not specialize in Fan Tan Li because Bagua Chen was so much about change, 
so much about not being there rather than being there as an immovable force. And the postures reflected that. Everything makes sense once you pull together the essential information. The turtle back posture, and as Gong Bao Jai explained, the heng li, the horizontal strength that comes from training of the turtle back. He described the strength as that of trying to push an oxen. Horizontal strength extremely wending, extremely firm and rooted. Now this compared to shu li, which means vertical strength, which Bagua Tren specializes in and was expressed posture-wise in the open body posture with the shoulders are pulled back and down and the abdomen pulled in. We wore tight sash. In contrast to the horizontal strength, where the chi moves along the surface of the body, vertical strength is governed by qian dong nei zhang, which means pulling and tugging specific targeted organs based on specific movement of the limbs. It breeds an entirely different perception of oneself and perception of the world in terms of how you can operate within it. Half of the system was Luo Han Quan, Shaolin. It reflected in the learning of linear forms, which then became treated with the principle governing change with the open posture. Another strength was developed, which I call open extension power versus repelling power. So we have in China, at this very fertile period of innovation, two famous systems which entirely devote themselves to the specialized development of one of these. Horizontal strength and repelling force of Taiji Tren and vertical strength, open extension strength of Ba Gua Tren. And to give you an illustration of what vertical strength is like, imagine a cat leaping off a rock, its body in full extension. It's from here that you can separate out the joints. And that's exactly what open extension power does. In fact, the other categorization is called zhi bu lian xi, which is separate parts training, versus zheng ti lian xi, which is consolidated body training of the turtle back. So this is not known in any of the circles. And I bring it out in advanced human training as two separate learning systems that the human body is capable of. So getting back to the bout between Yang Luchan and Dong Hai Tren, a probable reason why Yang Luchan's superior repelling force could not defeat Dong Hai Tren was because Dong Hai Tren was playing a different game. He was doing different things with his body that did not compete with the superior repelling force of Yang Luchan. In fact, with the open extension, he was able to separate out different parts of his body and with that supreme awareness to neutralize the great horizontal straight line force of Yang Luchan, yielding and sensitivity and borrowing, Dong Hai Chen possessed it in equal capacity yet from his different vantage point. Our proprietary strategy, 
borrowing from the tools of advanced human training will be to implement the separate parts training to enhance your sensitivity so that you can dissect the young method and make creative inroads into your own self-discovery. So thanks once again for listening. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button and share. Once again, this is Dr. Mike Yuan. Take care.